it's kind of incredulous when you first see it. You know, you're like, you know, somebody's got a squirrel, supposedly that's an attack squirrel, and supposedly he's feeding it meth to keep it aggressive. Yeah, you heard right. This is definitely not something you hear about every day. An Alabama man arrested for giving a squirrel meth to make it an attack squirrel. Now, neighbors who live nearby say they're upset by the mistreatment of that animal, but some of them say they're not surprised by the suspect. Scotty Kay reports. I love animals. I don't like to kill animals. I just don't believe in killing and harming animals. Billy Clem's best friend is his great Dane Romeo. When this animal lover heard a squirrel was found locked in a cage at a home just down the road from his, he was upset. It's sad. I mean, it's sad because that, that uh, squirrel should be out in a tree somewhere, not in a cage. Not anything anybody could be proud of for certain. The worst part, deputies say they got a tip that Mickey Polk was using the animal to attack, giving it meth to keep it aggressive. It's sad that a man's sick enough to do an animal like that. I think they should lock him in a cage and leave him for a while and let him know how the squirrel felt in there. And while hearing about this attack squirrel was pretty surprising, Clem says the drug raid didn't necessarily shock him. Cars are coming in and out all night that shouldn't be coming in and out at that time of night. These young people, if they was in their right mind and not on drugs, they wouldn't be doing the things that they're doing. Investigators say they contacted wildlife agents who said the best thing to do would be to release the squirrel into the wild. They did that and said they weren't able to test it for meth. If Clem sees the squirrel in his yard, well, I'll stay away from it, I'll tell you that, because I don't want a hopped up squirrel around me.